foil correspondent of for Good Morning America and from the movie Love Guru. Please welcome Stephen Colbert. Great to have you wow, here, Steven. What an, ama what an amazing audience. Yeah, great to have you here, Steven. Wow. Oh, unbelievable. You got, the, you got the greatest band. Yeah, that band is band pretty good. I've been yeah. working with these guys. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. So you've been hosting The Late Show for four years now. Yeah, I've number been hosting one. Late Show since, the, yeah, yeah, since just about four years, almost. Yes, yeah. number one. Is, is there any pressure to stay number one? Uh, now it just comes naturally. <laughs> it's, just, it's just in you. I, didn't even, I don't even think about it. So, yeah. the, so the question I have, and I'm sure the audience has, is: Is there anything, anything that you won't do to, to stay number one? I, w I will not admit to committing a crime. <laughs> to, to stay number, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. So yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will not. I will not harm any. I, will, I don't want to harm anybody. So I want to ask you a personal question. A real, a real personal question. Yeah, I, you, you're married, right? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How, how long have you been married, Steve? I have been married for 25 years. 25 years. 25 good years. 25 good years, 25 good years. yeah. 25 years. Yeah. So, you know, so, so let me ask you a question. What do you do or say at some points to impress your wife? What do I do? My wife, well, my wife was an English major. Uh. So the most impressive thing I could possibly do would be to get a word of my own in the Oxford English Dictionary, <laughs> and I did. The word truthiness. Truthiness. It's in, it's in Webster's, it's in the Oxford English Dictionary, and when your wife, when your wife is an English major, that's as close as I'll get to, like, having washboard abs. Wow. You know what I mean? So were you, were you always really good with the ladies? Was I always good with the ladies? No. <laughs> no, I was mostly afraid of the ladies. Good. Yeah. This, this probably helps you out with your wife. Right. No. Yeah. It's not like I have a long string, you right, know, right. of a, a pass, a, of pass, a dirty uh, path. You were a rapper at one point. All kind of things happen. What? Is there a lot? Is there? A lot, is there a lot of? Educate me to the rap scene yeah, well, here. It's a is little different. A of, it's a little is different. Is there a lot of sex in the rap scene? Well, you know, no one's ever really prepared. A man is not prepared to be treated like an attractive woman. I'll elaborate. I'll I am 100% prepared to be treated like an attractive woman. <laughs> well, what well, does that mean? What do, you, well, what do you mean by that? Like the, the, woman, the unwanted woman, attention? No, well, women are, are... Beautiful. They have to be selective. They have to be selective. A, a man can kind of be on a taste test and try everything that comes across. <laughs> a, man, a man would have sex with a tree stump. Yeah. It's not, <laughs> it's not a matter of being selective. Men, men are right, animals. It's, it's just, no, we're just made different. Viva la difference. Viva la difference. <laughs> but I would, look, I would just say, Stephen, like, you know, no one's prepared to be treated like that. Like, when it happens, it goes boom, and they go, ah, ah, and you go, me? Are you serious, girl? Come in. Wait, wait well, you mean, you mean when you, when you, like, when you really hit in the music scene, like, when you become a big deal, suddenly you're a sex symbol. Well, like, you got a whole facelift. Have you ever had any work done? No, I didn't have to do any work. I was already, like, look, like, I just fixed my teeth. Look, you gotta fix something. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I'm having, I had an ass implant. <laughs> yeah. This is, it does not woo, get, it woo. does not get this wide and juicy by itself, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you about mentorship. Mentorship? Yeah, like, that's is a, there anyone serious. out there that you see that, you know, that you kind of were able to take some notes from? Yeah, uh, many people. Um, let's see. Uh, I mean, I was lucky enough to work for John Stewart for many years. <laughs> and we're still friends. We're still friends, and I still call him up. Because h how many people can you call up and say, well, you, you know what it's like to do one of these jobs. Right. You know, and then you, you explain, like, some of the challenges you have, or even, like, some of the... The, the great thing, like, I had an opportunity the other night to have dinner with uh, one of my comedy heroes right. and uh, an older gentleman who I greatly admire, and I didn't know what to do with myself after it was over because it felt natural right. to have that. That freaked me out more that it was, it was completely relaxed and perfectly comfortable, and I called John right away and I said, I can't 
can't believe I just... how that didn't seem strange. And he, I know he understands. Right. Yeah. So comedy, like you mentioned, it's, it's pretty difficult at points if you... Is there ever, ever a time that you, like, you're, you're saying something and it's supposed to be PG-13, but it's coming out R-rated? <laughs> uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that, that does happen. That does happen. I, I, yeah. I understand how that, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> so you're trying to... You're trying to, you're trying to wrap PG and it comes out R-rated? <laughs> yeah. I always try to say something in, like, in a clean-cut way, and then it just comes out the 50 Cent way. <laughs> so when you were a kid, did you ever have, like, a, a way to get out of trouble, like, the ability to get out of trouble a lot? The, w the way I got out of trouble as a child was to be the youngest child of 11. Oh. <laughs> and they did not have time... It was 11 people to, to, to discipline me. Or really, my mom used to say, at the end of the day, she'd go... Ten fingers, ten toes, go to bed. <laughs> Honest to God, if we were, we were fine. That was it. I was kind of... I was like, I've said this before, but I'm, I was a free-range child. <laughs> I spent a lot of time out in the woods and, you know... Steven, out the Steven, he's giving me the sign. I gotta rap. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're good at this. The late show... That's the whole job. Just listen the to that show, guy. The late show's on CBS. Stephen Colbert. Everybody. <laughs>